John Posh. He is the director of education and training at, it's actually Aspect Imaging, right? Makers of the point of care Embrace Neonatal Scanner. All right, so what is, you know, this Embrace MRI like bringing to the MRI field, right? To our community, like what problems is it solving and who is it for? Well, specialty scanners are nothing new. They've been around for years. You know, they started off with open MRIs. An open MRI is just a specialty scanner for people who were too big to fit in a regular scanner. Right. Or too uncomfortable, too claustrophobic, dimensionally challenged, you know, of average weight, but, you know, very short stature. Um, so the, the concept of the specialty magnet is nothing new. They went then to the breast scanner, the Aurora, the extremity-only scanners. So it's a, sort of a natural evolution that we've gone through to pediatrics as well. Now, the Embrace is not designed for pediatrics. It's designed to meet a very specific need in the neonatal community. Preemie babies. Preemie. You know, those, those real small, you know, 750 gram up to about 400, 4.5 4, 4 kilograms. Right. Where they're, they're very small, they're very fragile, and they don't like to take them off the unit unless they have to. For sure. Right. It's, it's a challenge. You need a whole team. You need respiratory. You need anesthesia sometimes. You need a special transport. You need to go through hall hallways through expansion joints, elevators, it's right. loud, it's, it's noisy. Yeah. Infection control is a nightmare. Right. So the, 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 one of the true benefits of this scanner is it's point of care. It takes up a little bit of room in the NICU, basically about the same as a patient bed oh. room. It's not portable, it's installed in the NICU and it stays there. Okay. But the babies don't have to leave. They, instead of going downstairs, the nurse who takes care of the baby doesn't hand off to a transport team. She simply takes the baby from one room to the next room in her unit. Uh huh. Performs the MRI, baby comes back. Bed to bed, 40 minutes. Just that. And there's so many benefits to that. I mean, right. so so look at, you guys feed and swaddle now? Yeah. How long, when do they feed? On the floor? Yep, on the floor. How long does it take to get the baby in the bed after they feed the baby? Oh. Uh, Sometimes an hour yeah, or more? at least 45 minutes, yeah. So with the Embrace neonatal scanner, there's no fringe field. It's self-contained. Oh, nice. So it's all built into the enclosure. It is self-shielded. Mom can feed the baby in a recliner right next to the magnet. Baby's done feeded. Put them down, huh? In the bed, five right. minutes later, you're making noise, you're getting pictures. Awesome. It really is a game changer for that. Like, so when it comes to, I guess one of my questions, Field strength, because you're saying this, it's all enclosed into this, you know, closure. You don't have to worry about, you know, getting things close up to the magnet. The five Gauss line is just boom, right in there. It's really tight. What is the field strength of this thing? One T. One T. That's oh nice. So one that T was better than I was expecting. One T permanent magnet and the image quality is phenomenal. Wow. Oh wow, that's awesome. So um, I guess, and because like what we're looking at is you know, smaller heads and everything. Is there a head coil that's built into it or is it the so, body coil? So interestingly enough, it's a head only scanner currently. We're, we're doing some development which will take it to be a more useful product for outside of the head. But okay. if you think about the concept of what neonates need, 99% right. of baby scans are neonatal heads. Right. That's what they are. I mean, that's, so that's where we started. Yeah. Um, we could have started and spent a little more time on R&D and gone into the whole body stuff and spine first and cardiac. The problem is it's so limited in its clinical utility that there's not a lot of market for it. Now there are specialty sure. centers where they do a lot of fetal, fetal cardiac right. and then neonatal cardiac after surgical corrections, but it's such a small market that it's not really beneficial to us at this time. I'm right. not saying we're not going there. It's a head only coil right now. And mm -hmm. interestingly enough, it's a single channel head coil. Oh wow. Because it's a horizontal field magnet, it's a hallback array. Oh, okay. With a permanent magnet. A permanent, yeah. Small bore. Where's most of your signal get lost when you pulse with the, with the, the body coil? Oh, it's right in the air. In, yep. right? You're transmitting through 20 centimeters of air into the, the head. Nice. Our baby's head is right inside the head coil. So when you transmit with the head coil, receive with the head coil, and it's directly adjacent to the That's baby's right head, there. the signal fidelity is phenomenal. Right. Now, it is a 14-channel system. So we have up to 14 channels we can devote, but most of that's going towards future developments of other coil channels for body, for cardiac, for whatever. Yeah. That being said, we do have a prototype five channel transmit and receive multi-channel head coil okay. that's showing some amazing image quality. Now, the image quality improvement is nice, mm -hmm. but going from a one channel linear head coil on a, on a permanent system that's already phenomenal to a four channel doesn't really buy you a tremendous amount of image quality, right. but what it does buy you is parallel imaging. Right, faster scanning, right? So, but because we're a 1T, our scan times are comparable to a 1.5. You know, maybe 
right, not too far five off. Five or six percent longer for some of them. It's really nothing to be concerned about. Right. Our scan times are still, and, and the time savings on the prep side, transport side, so far makes up for it that nobody's ever said this is horrible. Right. In fact, they're thrilled. It's, it's got a it's got a high correlation between um, a traditional magnet. In fact, the Brigham team did a, a correlated study where they published. Um, I'm not sure how many cases, but there was a perfect correlation between the one T embrace and the three T Siemens. Oh yeah, that's right. There were some slight little differences, yeah. but, but nothing clinically impactful at all. In fact, we actually found some things that they didn't see. All right. Oh, cool. Well, can we go check out your booth? the Aspect Imaging Embrace MRI booth, and we are looking at this pretty cool neonatal mm -hmm. system. Wendy, you want to tell us a little bit sure. about what you guys got going on? Hi, I'm Wendy Slattery with Aspect Imaging. Thanks for coming, Reggie. No we're problem. excited about what we're doing. This is the only neonatal MRI system available in the world today, designed exclusively to address the challenges of MR imaging for the neonatal population. It is a fully self-contained, no zero fringe field system that is designed to be placed inside the NICU and meet the needs of the patient rather than the needs of the equipment. This is actually a full size system. This wow. is the size of the system. So it has a very small footprint. It's very quiet. It provides a thermally controlled environment. So for those preemies that still need thermal support, they get it. They don't get cold. They're not moving around. Right. It's quiet. They've not been disturbed with a lot of prep of changing out equipment. You don't need MR compatible or MR compliant equipment to come into the room. Right. Everybody comes in, even parents. So what we're doing is addressing all of the things that makes MR really challenging for this like population that. and making the information that only MR can provide more accessible for the providers. Oh, awesome. Now, when it comes to image quality and things sure. like that, are, are there any drawbacks from using this type of system? No, really not at all. This is a one Tesla system because we're focused on very tiny patients right. and we're able to get the coil really close to the patient. Our image quality is fully clinical diagnostic value. Oh, so our customers are using this as their primary scanner. This is where they do their clinical scanning. Wow. And this is literally in the NICU, right? Yes, absolutely. So family and everyone can kind of be right in this in general space. Sure. Our customers find after early installations that they needed to put chairs in the rooms because parents were coming <laughs> in and hanging out oh, and they I needed bet. a place to be. Nobody has to be scanned. Nobody is screened to come into the room. Right. And I can only imagine, uh, you know, when you're having an, an intensive care baby like that, you don't want it being too far out of your sight, right? Exactly, you kind of want to stay close. exactly. And it's definitely hard to transport these patients off the floor. So of this course, is and I'm glad, Reggie, I'm glad you mentioned out of sight. So with the system, when yeah. the bed docks, there's a video camera system inside that activates. Oh. So during the entire scan, the nursing team, the MR tech, the families, anybody in the room keeps a visual connection to the baby. Oh, on the baby, so there's just a camera in there that can sure. you guys see the baby. We, one mom told our customer that she watched her baby suck his pacifier during the entire <laughs> scan. He knew everything was fine. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, Wendy, thank you so much. This is sure. an incredible system. We love what you guys are doing for the field and can't wait to see what you thank guys are coming you. out with next. Thanks yeah. so much, Reggie. No Thanks problem. for coming by. Jump through podcast. We are out.